All right, so how do inmates get so jacked? Well, I'm gonna tell you my experience right now. And basically, it revolves around the half rep partial. And the short end is my favorite, but it could also be worked in the long end as well. And what this is, this is breaking down any range of motion rep into two parts or more, three, right? Uh, possibly. So we got the short end of the rep, we have the long end of the rep, and the full motion of the rep that we're all familiar with. Now, the full motion rep passes a job from one muscle group onto the next, okay? They work together. I don't want that to happen. I want to keep the muscle group on one group before passing the job on to the next. And if you watch some of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, you'll see that they do it too. Um, I know you all can name a few. You've really enlightened me to the bodybuilding world and everybody who's doing this. Um, but yeah, I learned this in prison. This was just my experience. I saw everybody else getting big by doing it. And uh, when I gave it a shot, I figured it out works all right so quick demonstration uh, this is the half rep partial how I learned it in prison right and then there's another variation that I think that I improved upon it so I'll be showing you everything all right this is the basic one what I learned in prison the half rep partial which is Placing your hands on the mat. Go into a push-up position. Go all the way down. And only come halfway up. Alright, now in prison. These are called bunny hops. Or burnouts. But they are the half rep partial rep range of motion. Okay, check this out. Short end, halfway up, all right, so that's the very basic, that's what I learned in prison, it's keeping the tension on one muscle group rather than passing it on to the next. Okay, that being said, here's my added variation, I apply rotational torque and what that means is I'm placing my hands on a thick yoga mat I'm applying rotational torque and if you you watch you'll see all my muscles tighten up together creating a great foundation and then I'll go into the push-up position with a half rep partial. And I will be flexing the mat, pushing it together as hard as I can while I do this. Now, this is my variation. Um, so here it goes. Hands down, elbows out, apply rotational torque. So I'm bringing my elbows in and I'm flexing my chest, squeezing the mat together flexing the whole time. Now, I'm gonna go down into my push-up position, then I'm gonna rock. Squeezing the mat together the whole time. The flexation in the mind, the muscle, the concentration, this is fantastic. Now, that being said, we have one more variation that I like to uh, talk about. I'm sorry, two more, really quick. This is just an elevated push up, right? But I'm resting my whole body weight on my fully stretched pectoral. 
I am truly resting my body weight on this muscle. And I'm just rocking, boom, 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 in a fully exaggerated state. See that? I'm just resting on my pectoral. Boom. Now this reminds me of when I do dips, because I'll do the same thing on the dip bar. I'll, I'll fully come down and rest upon my pectoral. It just feels great. Only coming up halfway, not passing the job on from one muscle group to the next. Okay, I love this variation. I have one more for you. This is the ballistic push-up. This is just very simple. Uh, what you do is, I just, I just push up with a fur furiosity and I touch my, my shoulders. So here we go. Ready? That's fantastic. Uh, you know, when I was in prison, I was 185, and I was the strongest I was. And it was all from those uh, half front partials. If I never discovered that, I'd still be pushing up nothing. Uh, this really shaped me up pretty quick. And uh, give it a chance, it'll do the same for you. Have fun, peace.